joined now by a, a BKB legend. It's um, from Ireland, Jimmy Sweeney, who's, um, who's done everything. I'm going to let you say f your three-weight world champion, four-time yeah, world four, champion. Four-time four time world champion, number three world champion. Uh, been there, done it all, getting too old for this shit, to be honest, yeah. So, so yeah, what do you, well, first of all, what do you think of, what do you think of that fight? You, you, you um, kind of you said uh, I, I said, was going to happen. I said, I said to just come in uh, and, because the, the, the guy said, uh, Jimmy, I don't think it's going to, we're going to get the interview and it's going to be this fight. I said, this fight's going to be over early, because uh, I've seen, I seen um, Brad Pickett fight. I knew Hanley. There's no disrespect to Hanley, but I, but I knew as soon as soon as Brad hit him, he was going to go down. So, so I just said, get that mic ready and throw it on me. Yeah. <laughs> but I uh, fair play to Brad. He's, he's come in uh, and at forty years of age, come into divorce board. So uh, I want to wish him the best of luck in, in the future. And just as well you're out of my weight, lad, because you will be getting sparked as well. Well, let's talk about the the semi final of the the Jack Broughton Trophy because there was mm. some good there was some good fights. Yeah, well, good what lads, about the, lads, the yeah. knockout? Uh, Franco. Franco, Franco. Uh, I see. Um, the last. The, the Did you expect that first of all? Do you know what? Do you know what? I didn't. I didn't like. This is why I didn't. Uh, I didn't see Tony fight in because uh, I, I knew the names. I knew a couple of names that was coming into it in, in, in the quarter. So it was kind of like not really keep nine them, but you know what I mean. But I didn't know anything about Tony, so it was kind of like a dark horse. I didn't know nothing about him, but he won his fight anyway. So. Um, I just had a wee, wee quick look at him in that, in that fight tonight. I didn't even see the knockout, but uh, I just seen spectacular. He was just I I just seen he he was standing far too high, yeah. and leaving himself open. The chin was far too high, so I I knew if, if Franco was a smart fighter, he, he would have knocked him out. And, and I wasn't surprised at all that he got the knockout. It's like it's like Darren Till the other night, and I don't want to bring the main to it, but it was the same way. When you leave the chin up that high for that long, uh, it, you're gonna get tagged. So, but um. Uh, well, he, come, he came with decent boxing experience, not, but sometimes in the boxing, that yeah, is one of the problems. The things, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but to get, to get hit, and, it, and the thing is with, with, the, with, the, with the boxing, it's all gloves, so you, you kind of think oh, you're going to get you're going to get tagged, but you're not going to get knocked on that because it's gloves and all that. So, but you can't do that. You can't do that with the bare knuckle. You can't leave your chin no. that high on the bare knuckle, no. and you get tagged like that. And Franco, we've seen Franco. He's a, he's a powerful fighter. And he did, he did kill him a sweet shot. It was, it was like um, uh, Lurgul against CJ tonight as well. Yeah. The chin up, bang, on the chin, gone. So you, you can't really do that in, in our game. So, uh, but fair play to, to, to Franco. He's on to the, to, to the final now, so I wish him all the best. Uh, we had our other semi final tonight, Smudger Smith against Connolly. James Connolly. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's Connolly, he's Irish, it's not <laughs> Connolly. It's, it's James, you're Connolly, you're Irish lad. <laughs> the mind is Connolly stuff. All right, but um, a good, good fight, good fight. Uh, but I'll be, I'll be honest, I, I always thought just on boxing that, 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 that can, I'll, I'll give you Connolly for this one. Connolly would have would have won that just for his boxing skill. But it was a decent fight, so uh, I, I wish him luck as well in in the final. But uh, you know what? I, I'm not being I'm not being like um, big head fighter. You, you can see you can see me now. We have a fight in June, and we'll get on that in a second. But I, I'm backed in for September. I'm, I've been shaped 76 kilos. And the, none of them guys none of them guys worry me whatsoever. This is this is just another payday for me with them two guys. Yeah. I mean, so you've been out for a while. Well, tell me about June because you know coming up June, soon, getting yourself I mean, back in shape. Um, and do you know, do you know what? It's probably the most stupid thing that I've ever done. Having six uh, months out. Yeah, because um, I started this three years ago, three and a half years ago. I've always been kind of fat and chubby and just like drinking and messing and and, and all this this stuff. And uh, I took kind of serious one time with the, the rematch with Gillard. And um, in training camp, but then with Junior Lane's in uh, the first time, I went to messing up. But then, but then my start, my start probably training again, loving it. Dropped down to a new weight, uh, dropped down to a new weight, and uh, basically got back to my fighting weight. Two fights, then all of a sudden I'm taking six months out. And I'm looking at that now thinking, it's probably a stupid thing to do. Yeah. Anyhow, you'll be back in the ring in June. We're just going to go back to ringside for a little sum up from our commentators.